Unbeaten hundreds from Michael Klinger and Jack Taylor helped Gloucestershire chase down 315 to win on the final day against Worcestershire. Worcestershire resumed on 151 for 5, seeking to build their second innings towards a declaration. Whiteley continued his aggressive hitting from the previous evening, including his third six of the innings. He needed another partner though when Cox fell to Norwell for 18. Miles took advantage of Worcestershire hitting out to claim a trio of wickets. First Leach was caught for four. Then Barnard departed in single figures. And Chantry fell caught behind for a two ball duck, unable to repeat his first innings heroics. Whiteley struck a few more lusty blows before being the last man to fall, going for 71 to leave Miles with excellent figures of 5 for 54. Worcestershire 239 all out, Gloucestershire needing 315 to win. But the visitors chase started badly as Leach took Dent for 5. Roderick and Van Buren put on 51 together for the second wicket in under 10 overs. Worcestershire had a breakthrough when Barnard claimed the wicket of Roderick for 30 from just 35 balls, Cavese the catcher. Klinger was the new man in and shared a stand worth 49 alongside Van Buren, but Gloucestershire's run chase was dented when Van Buren was out to Morris for 42. Klinger was joined by Marshall who made a runner ball 10 before falling to Cavese. Klinger hit a maximum as the visitors reached T on 139 for 4, but soon afterwards they lost Hankins to Leach for 1. Newman Taylor was up for the run chase though, announcing himself with a couple of early maximums. Klinger passed 50 at the other end, whilst Taylor continued to motor, hitting two more sixes to reach a rapid 50. Taylor was the more aggressive of the two, as the partnership passed three figures, whilst Klinger remained solid. Victory was well in sight when Bad Light briefly brought the teams off, but when they returned the visitors finished things off in style. Taylor brought up his outstanding 71 ball ton with a fifth maximum and hit the very next delivery for another six. A Taylor boundary left Gloucestershire needing one to win, but King is still requiring a four or six for his ton. Both milestones were achieved through an emphatic straight six off Dolivera from the Australian. Klinger 102 not out, Taylor unbeaten on 107 from just 72 balls. The partnership worth 179 at almost eight runs and over. Credit also to home captain Mitchell for using his slur bowlers to allow the chase to be completed after the bad light disruption. Gloucestershire win by 5 wickets and take 23 points to move up to second, rewarded for their bold first innings declaration. Worcestershire take 7 points despite losing.